Welcome back to the channel, you guys. And in today's video, we're taking a look at a new product from Speedy B. This is the F4 version 4 55 amp ESC stack combination that you can get that's a little bit more of like a budget friendly option if you're looking to build your own quad, getting into it, not wanting to spend a whole lot of money because you know you're just going to probably beat the crap out of it. I want to know is this product going to be something that I can recommend? I've never personally tried Speedy B yet. I've only seen and heard things from people in the community. I personally like to try things myself to be able to give my own experiences, advice to people whenever I talk about them. So I'm really excited that they did send me this stack to try out. And what I've been told from them is that this is gonna have a huge emphasis on reliability, which is something that I'm definitely gonna be looking for when I actually do test this thing out myself. My particular favorite setup as of right now is the T-Motor S7 Pro flight controller. And I like matching that with the Foxier Reaper 65 amp ESC. But that combination is quite expensive, especially if you're somebody who's just starting out and you're probably going to destroy it because you're probably going to bash your quad into a brick wall and you're going to be like, man, there goes all that money in that FC and ESC. So can I get the same level of performance from an F4 from Speedy B and the same level of reliability, but necessarily not have to pay the same price? So that's what we're going to find out today. Let's get this thing slapped into a quad. So let's take a quick look at what comes in the packaging when you purchase this stack. I have everything already pulled out here for you. We're gonna start with the flight controller. This is an F405 flight controller. Difference being from what I typically use, which is an F722, really it comes down to processing power. It's nothing that's gonna be super noticeable for you, but you may have less UART capabilities with something like this, higher CPU usage, because you're having to use more brain power to compute all the things that you're trying to do with your flight controller versus what an F7 can do. You can just handle a little bit more. The PID loop that I would run on an F7 7 flight controller would be more like 8K if I was using an MPU 6000 gyro. Uh, with this one, I'll probably run up to 4K. It depends on what the gyro capability is. I haven't really used an ICM yet, so I'm going to have to find out when I go to configure it. The first difference between the version 4 of the Speedy flight controller versus the version 3 is the fact that the version 3 was using a BMI 270 gyro. This is using an ICM 42688P gyro. I don't have a lot of experience with these. I do believe that actually is the gyro they're putting on KISS Ultras nowadays, though. You know, if anybody can actually answer that for me for sure down in the comments below. I really appreciate that. I'm sure I'll look into it after I record this video. But I do believe the ICM gyro is what they do use for KISS Ultras, which means it's probably a pretty dang good gyro. I haven't really used it much. I've used a lot of BMI 270s and MPU 6000s. My preferable gyro is the MPU 6000. The low dropout voltage regulator that is providing a clean DC input voltage to the gyro on this particular flight controller versus the version 3 is a max linear Brandon 1, which they're saying is going to improve the surge protection into the gyro by about 320%. So that's a pretty big improvement, and hopefully that means that overall reliability is going to be much better with this one. Both the 5 volt and 9 volt BEX on this particular flight controller are capable of outputting 3 amps, which is better than the two amps that the previous version can do. That's good, especially if you're using a DJI 03 air unit. Those are quite power hungry. Now this doesn't have any onboard RAM for your black box logs, but it does have a micro SD card slot here. So if you're looking to make some black box logs for your tuning process, definitely toss in a micro SD card, which is what I'll be doing when I go ahead and tune mine and set up my quad. I like to see the USB-C connector for the flight controller. I can't believe there are actually some really high-end flight controllers out there that still use a micro USB connector. So it's nice to see the USB-C on here. So looking a little bit closer here on the backside, you can see here on the JST connector, they actually have like some sort of a conformal coating here on the traces, which is really nice. I've actually had a situation where a flight controller burnt up on me because I had a wet blade of grass that went across that and it shorted the ground to the voltage input and yeah that was a bad day so it's nice to see that that should not happen with this one i like to see the hd jst connected here for the dji 03 the vista the link or the dji og air unit it's very convenient when you're doing your build you can just plug in the cable and get yourself set up and configured with the dji system moving into the esc we see that we've got a 55 amp esc which is capable of up to 70 amps of burst current as an improvement over the previous version which was only 50 amps only rated up to 55 amps of burst current so it's nice to have that little bit of extra head space i'm really digging this built-in heat sink here to help with heat dissipation. If you look on the back side, we've got these nice big MOSFETs. These are supposedly better quality MOSFETs which have a lower internal resistance, which just means less heat generated, which is always an improvement. And they've got more filtering capacitors on here than the previous version. They've got 22 versus 16. So hopefully all that put together means that we're going to have a much more reliable ESC. Moving into the accessories that come with the stack, we've got the standard wiring harness, which allows you to connect the ESC and the flight controller 
together if they are not in any weird configuration, just a normal configuration. And it's like not like a flip backwards ESC or anything. So it's nice to use a slightly smaller wiring harness if that's the case, if that's gonna be your build. It just helps to be a little bit cleaner. But they also do provide the longer wiring harness in the event that you need to flip your ESC, which is good because that's how I install my ESCs. I like to install my ESCs to where I have the battery lead coming out of the front of the Quadrilla Siren F5. The flight controller in the ESC did already come pre-installed with the gummies, which is very convenient, but you do get a couple of additional gummies if need be. You even get like some gummy O-rings here for some additional dampening. It does have a low ESR cap, which is rated at 1000 microfarad, 35 volt, which is really good. Highly recommend something around that for a five inch build. It does also have some heat shrink here for the leads to kind of keep everything clean. You don't want to have any shorts across those leads in your build. You do have the M3 stack screws but it does come with these plastic stack nuts, which I highly recommend you do not use these. Get yourself some metal ones, go to like Lowe's or Home Depot. It's very easy to find some M3 metal nuts, even the ones that have like the self-locking in them. Highly recommend those versus these ones. And finally, you have the XT60 with the 12 gauge wire, which is really nice. Again, this is what I would recommend using for a five inch build personally. I'm gonna get everything installed here in my Quadmula Siren F5 split, and I'm gonna really try my best to put this thing through the paces. I'm gonna be crashing into some trees and trying to turtle mode out of there, crashing into grass and turtle moding and all that stuff. We'll see if we can actually get anything to catch fire. Hopefully not, other than not wasting electronics on this stuff, but at the end of the day, if it is reliable, then I have something I can recommend to you guys.
So the uh, Speedy B stack outlasted my GoPro mount at one of the most iconic bandos in the world. So to that I'm gonna have to say, good job Speedy B. Pretty legit.